Dr. Marc Surratt, Professor of Biochemistry, Canadian Research Chair in Cellular Lipid Metabolism, Université de Moncton. In my laboratory, we're doing research where we're trying to understand some of the basic processes that occur in cells in our body. And we, we mostly study cells from the immune system. And the reason for that is, there are really two reasons. One is to understand how those cells function when they're functioning properly. But two, to understand how they function when they're not functioning properly because all of those cells normally protect us from bacteria and viruses and, and cancers. A lot of diseases arise from when these cells aren't functioning properly. Uh, diseases like asthma, uh, certain cardiovascular diseases, arthritis. Uh, so if we know how these cells function, uh, we can then target these diseases. One of the projects in the laboratory that, uh, that's taking a lot of our time is trying to understand how the cells actually use fats or lipids because the cell membranes are mostly made out of fats and although the membrane you can think of as the skin for the cell, it's actually a source of a bunch of molecules or many molecules that are involved in cell communications because cells have to communicate with each other. And these communications, when they don't function properly, can lead to a lot of disease processes. Often when you'll get funding from federal sources, they'll fund 40 or 50 percent of the project and you have to turn around and get funding to complete the, the 100 percent of the funding. And in New Brunswick in the past, that was much more difficult than it is now with the NBIF and we've been able to turn to the NBIF to really help us move these projects forward. We're growing some plants in northern New Brunswick uh, and these are plants that produce oils, uh, like vegetable oils, like any other vegetable oil. But the difference about these oils is that the types of fat that are, that are in the oil act very much like fish oils in our bodies. So fish oils, as you've probably heard a lot about them in the press, are, are good for your health. And uh, there, there's a lot of evidence showing that they're good, especially for cardiovascular health. And one of the problems is that the demand for fish oils is, is starting to outpace the supply. So we need alternate sources of these types of oils uh, to, to meet the demand. And we think that we're on to an alternate source that we'll hopefully be able to grow in the fields in New Brunswick. The, the Eurekas are few and far between, but when they happened, it, it, it's uh, very gratifying. And uh, anyone who's involved in research knows that uh, as a career, it's, it's an exciting career because every day you go in, uh, you have something different going on. So it's, uh, in, in that way, it, it's lots of fun.